We're working as we go to heaven. There's a difference. We're not trying to earn our righteousness. We're, we're walking in obedience to God. If this, let me tell you this. Just because, you know, the Bible says that God so loved the world, He so loved the world. What does that mean? God loves the world. He loves everybody. But that don't mean everybody loves Him. And when you, when you accept Jesus and you, and you make him the Lord of your life, well, let's say, let's say it like this. When you accept Jesus and you believe on him, that God raised him from the dead and you confess him with your mouth, and the Bible says, and you shall be saved, and that same person that does that becomes a new creation in Christ, well, then, then that's, that's who you are. You're, yeah, you are in Christ. And we have become a new creature. Now, I want to ask you this. If, and this, is, this has been, been said before, but just because that before we were born again, that we did something good, and I'm sure everybody's done something good somewhere. <laughs> I hope you have done something good, right? Did that make you right? Just because you've done something good? Just because you done somebody, you helped somebody out, you loaned them some money, you gave them some money, maybe you did bought them some groceries, maybe you did something, you helped them out, you went and mowed somebody's yard, you helped somebody do some work. Did that make you good? Did that change your stances? I'm talking about before you got saved, did that change your stance as a sinner? Why not? You're just a good sinner. <laughs> Now, you was a sinner, now you became a good sinner. <laughs> hey, man. No, it didn't change it at all. Now, when we received Jesus, God declared us right. He imputed his righteousness unto us because of Jesus. It wasn't because of what we did. We didn't earn that. We couldn't earn it. There's nothing we could do to earn it. But see, for too many people, once they, once they make Jesus, they, they receive him into their life, then they think from this point on, I've got to earn everything that comes from God. I've got to earn that. I've got to be good enough to receive that. That's the reason people get, uh, walks under condemnation all the time because they know they're, they're not doing everything they can do. They know it. They know that they're not, they've done some things wrong. They know that they've not been totally pleasing unto God. And anybody that says they are, boy, I'd have to question you. I'd have to question you because I, I don't see how you could think that. Amen. It's just, it's just this, this old religious thing that'll make you think, boy, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm really, I've really done it right. Well, you know what? You may be doing some things for God. We ought to be working for God. We ought to be doing these things. But it's not to become righteous. You can't go to church enough to become righteous. You can't do enough things to become righteous. This thing was imputed unto us. God declared us righteous because of what Jesus did. That's where our faith must be. We've got to live there. We've got to remain there. Does that mean I don't, does, does it matter if I do any works or not? Of course not. It has nothing to do with it. Of course we should. Of course we ought to do what's right. We ought, to, we ought to live a life that's pleasing to God. You know, the Bible says you can't please God without faith. So how are you going to please God? You're going to have to believe Him and be obedient to God to please Him. Now to please God is different than, than being born again and being the righteousness of God in Christ. That's not even the same. But we've made it the same. We think it's one in all. It's not. If you're born again and you've received Jesus, then you've received what God has done through Christ. And Jesus has bore your sin. He's bore my sin. And he who knew no sin... Now, how did Jesus become sin? How did a person that knew no sin had never sinned? Now, you think about this. How did he become sin? 
Well, how did he do it? The Bible says he never sinned. I believe that. Not once. Well, how did he become sin? Well, I was a sinner. Well, how did I become righteous? It was imputed unto him. It was laid on him. Just like the righteousness of God is put on us. When we come to know Jesus, the righteousness of God is put on us. See, that's why Paul talked about, and so did the others talk about, not living under the law. Paul, Paul looked into the law and said, There's none righteous, no, not one. Jew and Gentile alike, I have declared both of them unrighteous. There's not one. 